Welcome back. I'm Calvin Statue Fanatic here with another review, and today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite characters. Yes, I know, it's your favorite character, everybody's favorite character, Venom's the hotness now. But anyway, I've liked Venom for a long time. And I saw this statue at Wonderfest and I ended up ordering it. But this review is probably not going to go the way that I had hoped it would go because once I took it out of the box, I was a little shocked at what I was to find. But a little backstory about uh, when I first saw the, this statue, uh, I brought George over and I said, hey, George, check it out. We went over to the Code of Akia booth and he said, uh, and I said, remember the Spider-Man statue that looks like this, that kind of goes with this? They've done a Venom statue as well. And George looks at it and he goes, it sucks. I'm like, well, what do you mean it sucks, George? He goes, man, check out all those seams. That, it, it pretty, that sucks, Calvin. And I'm like, well, of course, I mean, it's probably a prototype, George. When they ship it, it's not gonna look like that. He goes, I don't know, but it sucks right now. So anyway, I took this guy out of the box and needless to say, I have to eat a little crow because George, it sucks. So <laughs> before I get into all of that, let's just talk a little bit about the piece. Again, this is from Kota Bakia, it's an artifacts piece. And of course, like I said before, there was a Spider-Man statue that was done a couple of years ago, maybe a year and a half, that complements this. It looks similar to this. Now, the entire statue does not suck. I, I will talk about what I mean when I say that, but there are some really cool things about the statue. One of the coolest things about this statue and, uh, is the base. The base has some really cool design and detail in the statue in, in it. I really like it a lot. I think they did a great job. I, I just love this tower that's leaning over and the rocks that's breaking away from it. It's really cool. And another really cool thing about the statue, in my opinion, is the pose. I love this. Uh, this pose of Venom, him like in this dynamic pose, midair, web slinging, um, got the classic tongue hanging out of his mouth. I think it looks really cool. And then the texture on his skin is really cool as well. I mean, you see a lot of veins and a lot of sculpting and the detail on his skin. So I'm really happy with that. But um, that's kind of where it stops at, guys. Because after that, everything goes downhill from there. Especially, there's just some things about this statue that you cannot overlook. First of all, check out this scene where his arm, arm fits into his body. I tried everything. There's no blow dryer, no nothing that's going to get you to be able to get this seam to fit snugly into that. I mean, the seam is so big. I mean, you could literally put a piece of something like a, I don't know, almost a penny could fit in that seam. It's just that glaring. I mean, there is just no way that you could even pretend to ignore that. And it just, it's so bad all around his arm until there's just no way anyone who got this statue would be happy with it. And then it doesn't stop there where his head connects to his body because his head is separate from his body, where his head connects to his body, just this glaring seam all the way around the statue on both sides of it. It's just really, really, really bad. And then on his other arm, even though this arm was already attached when it came in the box, you can see that there's this huge seam where it was attached and glued, and you can see that seam there. It's just unbelievable that this actually is a production piece. It just looks really bad. George was 100% correct. It sucked. Um, and then on the very back of it, you have this triangle effect here where you see where his legs, both left and right leg and his torso, all are three separate pieces. And you can see this line that goes down his crack. And you see where the seams here is just glued together. It just looks really, really, really bad. I would not, you know, I don't know, man. I'm not gonna go on and on about it, but this is a piece that uh, I have the Spider-Man piece that complements this. And I'm going to review that piece uh, probably the next video that goes up will be that piece. I'll try to get it done as soon as possible. And then I'll have both of these together to compare them before I box this up and send it back to Sideshow. I don't want another piece because I'm pretty convinced based on what we saw in Japan and based on what I got here, this is pretty much how this piece is going to come. And I can't wait to start seeing other people's reviews of this online. Maybe I'm wrong, but I doubt it very seriously. Um, but that's pretty much all I have about this piece, man. There's no way in hell that I would ever keep it. It's just way too bad. Again, my favorite character, they really screwed this one up. But if you like to stay on top of the latest in the world of collecting, 
please head over to mcecentral.com. That's Marvel's Collectible and Entertainments, where you can find some of the coolest reviews, latest unboxings of some of your favorite pop culture characters. Especially if you're into pop collecting, there is no other than the pop god himself, Seth, with all things pop. So please head over to mcecentral.com. And until next time, my friends, peace.